Hello, hello again, my enthusiasts. Today, I'm going to show you how you can create yourself a AI tutor, and we will put this tutor in our Telegram, but you can go on and integrate it through different platforms like WhatsApp or any other that you use that can be connected to N8N. So here is the demo of how it will work. We will, the first thing that it will have to ask us is to, uh, to send it the PDF notes. So here I texted hello and say hello, I'm an AI tutor designed to help you review materials by creating personalized quizzes based on your note. To get started, could you please send me the notes? And here I send the notes and it created uh, questions and I was answering them one by one. And if I made a mistake, I chose the incorrect one, it was uh, correcting me and uh, telling me the right answer and at the end of here I've created I've told it to create only five questions so at the end of it it will break down all my answers and my total score in percentage so this can be very helpful instead like of every day you have notes going through chat GPT sending it the PDF and rewriting the prompt for it to give you quizzes so you can immediately agree this with your whatsapp or your telegram and it will be it will be used for forever so let's go through all the workflow so here is our ai tutor agent workflow it's a simple one we're going to go through uh, each node together the first one will be the telegram trigger and have to connect the credentials of our telegram how will we have to do it we'll have to come on bot further create a new bot we name it and then we we'll have to copy this access token so very simple and straightforward the second thing that we we'll need to do is to check if the sent file is a document pdf so if you remember well uh, when we sent hello we were asking the user immediately to send the notes but if we're sending the notes, our AI agent was processing all the notes and telling us, okay, the, the notes are sent. Let me start to send the questions. So we'll have to extract the file from the notes. And how do we do it? We use this extract from file node, and then it will extract from PDF. And then after that, we'll have to create a variable. So this is it's the same variable that we are going to send to our AI conversational agent. The variable will be named text. And if we send in the notes, we'll just write here is the note slides and we'll append the PDF content. But if you just any other string like an answer, for example, if the user is answering the, uh, the question, we'll just send the text. So uh, the most important part is this conversational agent and it's actually the crucial part of this tutorial uh, is how to teach how to use it. And what we'll have to do here will be, uh, first of all, we have to send in the text. And the most important thing here is the system message. So as I told you, the most crucial part of this uh, AI agent is to prevent you to always uh, have to prompt the AI to say, okay, create me multiple choice question, create me this kind of thing. We need it to always be ready. If it receives the PDF, immediately it starts asking you questions. So that is what the system message does. The system message is a message that will be sent to an agent before the conversation starts. So it will be giving it instruction how to uh, work. And here inside my system message, I told it you are helpful AI tutor designed to receive notes and create personalized quizzes based on uploaded notes. Your primary function is to help users review and test the understanding of material through an interactive question and answers format. So, so I gave it steps. Uh, you'll check the inputs. If you have not received notes yet, first ask the user to send notes. 
If the user send notes, you analyze the notes and create five multiple choice questions. You present one at a time. And after user submits the answer, which will only be letters, because it's a multiple choice question, you evaluate their choice, provide corrections, and append the next question. Always append the next question to the correction. So here I gave it an example of how it should be. Maybe if the answer is incorrect, the correct answer is no software quality measurement program of any kind. And I gave it also the scoring system. Each question is worth one point. Calculate the final percentage. And that's what it exactly did at the end of the fifth question. It gave me, uh, in terms of percentage, how many I scored and the breakdown of all my answers. And it even told me, you have a good grasp from some key mm -hmm. concepts, but there is room for improvement. So that's all about the system message. There is no tool. I didn't use any tool. You can go ahead in your own agent and add some tools, like maybe saving the scores to a Postgres. Uh, if you haven't yet uh, learned how to use Postgres, you can check my previous video. And the chat model, I chose to use Claude. You can also use any other chat model you want. And the last step will be to take uh, the output of our conversational agent to Telegram, which is also straightforward. So that's all about this workflow. If you have any question, you can send me via comments and see you in the next tutorial. Hopefully this was also useful. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share to other AI enthusiasts. Thank you very much.